okay. Folks, what we're going to talk about today is how to do a proper soap bowl. We just added these man assist in. They're very high efficient. They got two stage compressors. One thing I want to point out, before you do a sub cool on any variable speed compressor, it has to be on second stage, okay? So these are on second stage. They've been running now about 20 minutes. The freon stabilized. Now we're ready to charge it. I'm going to show you what you need to actually do a sub cool. You got to have a fill piece meter and you got to have a temperature probe. Here's the temperature probe. It needs to be four to six inches from your liquid line valve, okay? Got to have a set of gauges, and you got to have the R410A, the refrigerant. A proper sub cool, you need about, on 16 series system, you need about eight, 10 degree sub cool. Now you ask, how do you get sub cool? Well, I'm going to show you. Come over here to your gauges. Now that the refrigerant is stabilized, and you got to look. This gauge here is, is reading about 275, but see where it's at? It's at 91 degrees. That's 91 degrees. That is the temperature of the refrigerant coming back from the indoor coil. Now you look over here at your temperature probe. It's 86, almost 87. So you take 87, 91, that's four degrees of subcooling now. So now we know we gotta have at least four more degrees subcooling for this unit to be properly charged. We went ahead and hooked up the tank. And one thing I want to point out, anytime you hook up your hoses to your systems, you've got to purge the lines. And all you'll do, you'll hook up your systems and, and crack the valves and, and open them up. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up this valve. Watch this right here. I'm adding refrigerant. See it going through my sight glass? I'm going to leave it on just for a count to 10. Now I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to let this thing run for about 15 minutes to stabilize, and then I'll see if I need any more freon. One thing I want to point out, on your 410A, you have to charge your system in the liquid state. Okay? We'll come back to this in just a minute to do our final sub -pool. Okay, now we came back, added a couple ounces of R410A, and keep in mind, do not overcharge your system because it only takes just a little bit of R410A to get the sub cooling correct. I want you to look at it. We've got about 90, 92 right here. You go back to your fill piece meter, and you've got, we'll say, 81 and a half, 82. I'm going to leave it. We're right at the 910 mark. By the time I take my gauges off, release that little bit of freon into it, I'm going to be at about the 9 degree subcool mark. If you have any questions, if you have any problems about subcooling or how to do it, give us a call at jonesairconditioning.com or call 239-596-58. Bye-bye. Thank you.